everybody, it's me, Kylie, and welcome to the studio, or should I say, laboratory, because today we're doing a quick, fun, colorful, and beautiful science experiment. Here's what you need for this experiment. A shallow dish or even a paper plate would work. Whole milk works best, but even 1% milk or half and half will work too. You need some cotton swabs. <laughs> some food coloring, and some dish soap. Just regular dish soap. That's it. The experiment we're going to do today is called the Rainbow Milk Experiment. Uh -huh. I've never tried this before, and I'm so excited because it looks awesome when it works. Here's a little bit about how this experiment works. This experiment works because of something called surface tension. You can think about the surface tension of a liquid a little bit like a balloon. Surface tension is how tight the molecules or little like puzzle pieces of liquids hold together. So if you look at this water drop with me, you can see that there's almost like a balloon covering the water. So it doesn't just fall over, it groups up and holds together because of the surface tension of the molecules on top of the water. They form almost a film or a skin or a balloon around the surface of the water so it all holds together. Water as a liquid has a very strong surface tension so it just kind of like beads up. But dish soap is something that breaks or interrupts the surface tension. So when I put a little bit of dish soap on a cotton swab and just touch the very surface of this water drop, pop, it broke the surface tension of the water drop. That's why this works. Now for milk. We'll let it settle so that the water in the milk has time to clink together and form its surface tension. Now we'll put some drops of food coloring very gently into the middle of our container. What do you observe right now about the food coloring in the milk? Well, it just kind of stayed right where I put it, didn't it? What do you think will happen when we introduce our surface tension breaker, soap? Only one way to find out. Let's do it. <gasps> what? It broke the surface tension on the top of the milk which then allowed the dye to start interacting with the fat molecules inside the milk. <gasps> Look how it's moving all around. That's amazing. <gasps> this is beautiful. was so fun and so beautiful. This is a simple science experiment that you could do at home. Even if you don't have cotton swabs laying around, you can use the edge of a paper or towel, just like this. Dip that in your soap and bloop, bloop, bloop. If you wanna do more science and art with me, I wanna do more science and art with you. You know I do. Just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. See you soon.